Starting a new business is never truly easy, is it? You only have to ask the former royal known as Meghan Markle. On a serious note, the reason why I'm laughing is a friend of mine recently started a business, not going particularly well for him, a few hiccups as they say. And um, I'm not laughing at that, but you know, it's just the obvious stuff that he forgot to order, you know, the sort of thing, I'm yes, you know what I mean. You have to put planning in. And as we told you the other day, seemingly Meghan Markle doesn't believe in planning. You know, she's like a bullet straight out and there you go. And then suddenly there's a problem. Now there's a problem in her late endeavor and it's not about being 43% Nigerian oh no we've moved on to that now you know this is a problem with Megan memory of a sieve seemingly can't keep it together for long but more importantly well a bit of a crisis as ever let me explain morning lovely to see you thank you so much for joining me today and by the way thank you for your lovely comments all about movie magazines and celebrities and how it's all changed I'm glad you agree because I don't know if it's our innocence you know maybe the kids of today still find that as innocent as we do watching Taylor Swift or whoever it may be but there was a certain magic about the um, unreachability of celebrities do you know what I mean you could only see them in a magazine or indeed on your favorite TV show normally once a week like Top of the Pops now you can actually instantly Instagram them. I know. Where has it got? I mean, yes, don't get me going on that stuff. But thank you. Very kind of you to get involved. And so many of you did buy those magazines, you see. I thought you would. You can, yes, this is the trouble. But we all threw them away. Imagine what we threw away now in a fortune. Have a route around, you just never know, do you? Back as ever to your royal story of the day. This was meant to be this great big thing, wasn't it? You know, the launch. Oh yes, Megan was coming back. She announced it on the red carpet. Several projects. Who knew one of them would be this? Jam. Yes, well it is. Yeah, I know. Frightening. I mean, how do you go from being in the world's most famous family with literally the world at your feet now to just plunging around in your back kitchen making a few pots of jam with some ropey lids and a label on saying, oh, please like it on Instagram. This is where Megan's hit herself. Now, as we know, there's other problems because certain people have not been, well, shall we say, less than vibrant about Megan's jam and I'm not being unkind here. This is really all to do with the fact that people like Chris Jenner, yes, they mentioned it, but you know, they hardly broke any pots, did they? you know now what's interesting I've been told is simply this that Megan once again has possibly rushed the equation shall we say and by that what I'm saying is she's run out of jam that's right you heard it here first she's run out of jam now I know a few places where you could get a bit of jam maybe the Royal Collection Trust the High Grove Jam High, High Clare Castle Jam there's quite a few isn't there if you wanted but yes Megan apparently has run out and so that's why it's come to something of a shuddering halt there's 50 pots as we've seen but there's nowhere near 50 gone out now and as the world waits literally holding its breath to wonder who's going to get the next pot of jam seemingly Megan's up at home crushing all those strawberries herself no doubt with her bare feet trying to find extra jam pots and stuff and actually I wanted to ask whether she's asked it to be recycled could they not send the jam pots back and she could recycle the jam pots and put them out again I kid you not but on a more serious note Megan yes apparently and as ever we have to say allegedly has run dry of jam right now but fear not the 50 pots I'm sure a little bit like the 40 times 40 will come to fruition at some point Neil Sean in the very heart of London